Hey guys, welcome back to the next tutorial of uh, SQL Server Reporting Services. So in the last tutorial, we saw how to create a very, very simple report using the inbuilt wizard. So we'll try to do the same thing in this tutorial also, but instead of using a wizard, what we'll do is we'll try to play around with the toolbox and other tools provided by reporting services ID that is we're using um, business intelligence development studio and we'll try to create a very simple report um, so this will become the foundation of um, you know our next videos like when we add parameters or when we start grouping the table or when we start to play around with matrix and so on and so forth so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up bids and I'm going to create a new project so here instead of a report server project wizard I'm going to choose report server project and I'm going to say non wizard report just giving it a funny name and once you click on OK you see that there are a couple of folders created for you the same thing that we saw in our last videos and um, what I'm going to do is straight away I'm going to right click on reports folder and I'm going to say add a new item so this basically gives me a set of options whether I can I need to add a data source or a report or a data set or maybe a report wizard so in this case I'm going to add a report and I'm going to call this report as non wizard report okay so this is the area that we would be working with right now you know this this is the area wherein we can use a couple of tools and then build our own reports uh, on the left hand side you see that there is a report data section so if you don't find it i think if you go to view there should be this option was project so in case this is not getting displayed it, it should be in one of these menus to you know to enable that so here what we are going to do is first of all we are going to add a data set so a data set is basically you know what you do is you give a query and it returns um, a set of rows that that becomes your data set and um, using the data set is what you build your report so basically you need to give the query of um, you know whatever data you need in return that you need to use in the report so as you see there are two options over here one is to use a shared data set or other is to use an embedded data set so um, what I'm going to do right now is um, I'm going to use a shared data set and see we haven't created a data source over here so you know we haven't defined any connection string so let me do that first I'm going to call this as connection string and I can either use a shared data source or an embedded connection so a shared means if you have a couple of reports and you want all the reports to use the same um, you know connection string you need not redefine the connection string in each report you can just reference it to one data connection and call the data connection as a shared data connection here I'm not going to do that what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new um, data connection um, maybe in the further videos we'll try to explore that option also and instance name and let us choose our traditional adventure works database okay so you see that um, you know the connection string has been made for you and you click on ok and this is the portion where you just type in the query whatever you want uh, observe there is also a query designer so just to keep it super simple I'm going to use that and I'm going to add some table let's see okay let's add customer and um, this is like a visual representation of your query um, I'm going to choose all the columns for now um, you could also really give an alias or anything that you want you could set the group by clauses etc so this is the query it has generated for you just click on ok and this gets replicated over here uh, observe there are a couple of other options available over here like parameters etc we would um, you know be exploring these options in the coming videos when we talk about um, how to make a parameterized report and you know so on and so forth all right so we have defined our data source 
that is basically a connection string and we have defined the data that we are going to use in the report but so far we haven't designed the report so if you go to the toolbox you see there are a couple of options over here using which you're going to design the report so for instance let me just drag and drop a text box over here and then let me call this as my first non wizard report okay oops and uh, it's it's basically a WYSIWYG editor which means just like microsoft word you could you could change whatever you want like you make bold italics underline um you know try to give it any color or maybe um, align it to the center and so on and so forth so it's it's basically a WYSIWYG editor in which you can um you know try to format it however you want uh, we'll also you know look at how how can we dynamically set some data in a text box and how can we dynamically format um, um, you know your data but for now let us just assume that we're going to hard code this value my first non wizard report and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to drag and drop a table control and we'll switch back to my report data so you see that it's extremely easy to just drag and drop your data that you have just imported right now and these are the five columns that I need and again you could just um, you know kind of play around with this let me just try changing the color a little bit and you could also change the background color all right doesn't look so good but still it works um, we we be talking about um, you know row groups and column groups in the coming videos but this is basically just that you know we are selecting a couple of rows and then just playing it on the report so you know just to explore our toolbox some options from our toolbox and report data um, if you just double click on the data sets the wizard pops up again and you can modify the query so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just select the top thousand all right so we're all set for the new report if you click on the preview tab it compiles it and then it displays a report for you so this is essentially the report that you will be um, seeing in your internet explorer um, we'll also talk about how to deploy a report in the later videos so you know this has a lot of pages um, though we have just selected about thousand rows but you see that there's a lot of pages um, many people would like to export this report into an Excel or a PDF or something and then play around with it uh, like you know they would like to do some pivoting or something on the Excel site for which there's an option called um, export as you could really export it in all these formats for example if I just say PDF it gives me an option to save it as a PDF let me just save that and then we just start the documents I think I should be yep this is the one so see it has actually exported your entire report into a pdf and then you can really um, play around with this so the in this video we have tried to keep it extremely simple by creating the first report which we do not use a wizard which is just basically completely manual um in the coming videos we'll try to you know kind of add a parameter something like a territory id or a customer id or something um and then we'll try to, you know, explore the other features of reporting services. Thank you.